G'day, you extraordinary group of elusive, targeting, hilarious hitmen, and welcome back to Hitman 1, 2, and 3. Now, our journeys have finally brought us to the start of an all-new series, unlike anything that has ever been done before. You see, in this series, I'll be playing my way through the World of Assassination trilogy in regular Hitman in the first half of each video, before then strapping myself into the good old VR headset and attempting to recreate every action taken in VR to see whether the tactics used in Pancake Hitman would actually work in the virtual real world. The catch, however, is that I'm required to do all of this whilst playing like a professional hitman. And as for my loadout, well, it is as follows. I'll be wearing my extra spicy crimson red suit. I'll be bringing my Krugermeyer 22 Dark, an explosive golf ball to go with the two other explosive balls in my pants, and a vial of emetic poison. Finally, in my ICA safe house, I've asked Diana to leave me one single banana. And well, here we are, Sapienza, Italy, the place where dreams come true. And as it just so happens, in case you forgot, I'm going to be playing today like a professional hitman. See, look at those fingers twitching, mane. I'm just itching to toss someone into a wood chipper. Anyway, I think the best way to approach this professional hitman playthrough is to do it with a good old-fashioned story mission, though I don't think this is the one. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't ever know. Anyway, having a look at the mission stories, we've got Absolution here, which as far as I know, will have us run all the way down to that light bulb to get a key to get into the underground secret dungeon. Before that, however, I think I might pay a visit to my delightful Sapienza apartment. Most importantly, however, I'll ring the doorbell first just to make sure that I'm not home before letting myself in. Yes, this is a crack den, and yes, apparently I am a crackhead. But in my briefcase, I've got banana. So I'll be taking that with me and I'll grab the other explosive golf ball, which now gives me four in my pants. If that's not a party in my pants, then I don't know what is. I think I'll also grab this kitchen knife too, so I can circumcise myself when, <laughs> when I have a little bit of free time. Oh, hold on a second. Just sorry, nearly forgot. So now that I've ruined my downstairs neighbor's house, uh, <laughs> I guess it's it's time to get on with the show. Now, in case you missed the first video in this series, I'd just like to remind everybody that this is what I call the mixed reality playthrough, where we play through Pancake Hitman, that is to say keyboard and mouse, then slap on the old VR headset and retrace and recreate the steps we took in order to see whether the shenanigans we do as a professional hitman in Pancake Hitman hold up in virtual reality. So let's do that. Oh, yeah, there's the lady we're looking for. An accident at the Ether Lab has claimed the life of a scientist. Oh, boo-hoo, Diana. Anyway, this is a professional hitman playthrough, which means no casualties unless they're necessary, which is actually pretty off-brand for this channel. But anyway, hello, my good man. I am here to pay my respects to the dead guy. A good day for business. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. You know what? I might be able to let myself in through this downstairs. Is that a can of Lipton iced tea? Mmm, yum. Oh no, my bad. It's Migli Obi. Love can of that. So who's, um, whose funeral is this? Pick up flower bucket or I'll, I'll grab that. I don't want to whack anyone in the head unless I absolutely need to, but this guy seems to be asking for it. And this guy's just taking a piss in the, <laughs> in the middle of the freaking church cemetery. That's, that's... That's respectful. Anyway, we need an easily replicatable strategy that we can do in VR later. Look, we got another church dude here, but I'm going to try and find an outfit. What's this? Scissors. Great. I can give myself a little bit of a haircut later. Not in my head, but my rugged mane of pu- And I'll grab the church key. All right. Now, let me see if I can find myself an outfit without, you know, having to separate anyone from their consciousness. And what have we, what have we got? We got- Oh. Oh, yes. Father 47 in the his house. <clears throat> now to just unlock this door again with the key I stole. So this outfit is actually completely unnecessary. And here we are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Excuse me while I have a little lay down. This is hard work. All right, I'm feeling refreshed. And now it's time to head into the Morgu. And uh, hello, you're looking great. Fresh disguise. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about fresh. I guess it's all relative, isn't it? Fresh compared to a, you know, one month old corpse. Yeah, probably. Oh, failed. Oh, sh. 
All right, so apparently the lady I'm looking for is making her way back down to the ether lab at record speed. Uh, this is a little bit sticky because if she goes back in, I'll never be able to get that key card. Fortunately, however, I have banana. Oh. Now I'll just sneak up behind and grab that biolab key card. Beautiful. Thank you, mate. Now he'll pick her up and see no casualties. Look, everyone's okay. Now let's head back into the Morgu and borrow that guy's fresh uniform one more time. Hello, mate. Good to see you again. Smelling as fresh as ever. Mm -mm -mm. It is time to casually enter the secret underground dungeon. Oh, crap. Just a minute, mate. Let me just stuff my Krugemeyer 2-2 dark over there in the bush. Now I'm a new man. Hello, Fully legit. Frisk away. You know, just between you and me, this is my favorite part of the job. Now, I am pretty sure that there is a way to take down Francesca de Santos in the room with the thing. So, let's head on in here and destroy this virus, which is part of the mission prerequisites. What's going on, Barney? Why is your face... Oh, I was going to say, why is your face so visible? It's because of the reflection. Mmm, nothing like a good old golden shit. Right, that's enough. Stop it. What's going on, boys? This room looks nice and healthy. Green, green air. Mmm. So that's the, um, that's the virus prototype. You gotta make sure that doesn't escape, you know? If it escapes, that could cause, like, a, a pandemic in the future in 2019. Oh, oh, oh yeah. The increased temperature virus cabinet. That sounds good. All right. Gotta find a way to do that without getting spotted. Yeah, all right. Sabotage research computer. Blip, blop, blop, blop. Hacking mainframe. Da, 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 da. Manual override robot arm. All right, let's try that. All right, let's get this one. This is obviously the one. Let's mix it with this one. Yeah, two dangerous compounds. That's that's what I'm talking about, boy. -boy. Don't come over here, dick wank. Stay there. Don't you dare go and turn that off, you stupid idiot. Oh, no, it exploded. What? Who the bloody... Who did that, you freaking knobheads? But there's our target, and she looks like she's on her way down here. Let's just blend in as a lab technician, because this is, you know, this is what lab technicians do. And here she comes to check on the virus sample. Listen, it's not that you're not allowed to be here, per se, but you're kind of overstaying your welcome. Uh, no, I'm not. You are. I'm coming inside. What? <laughs> Hold on, lady. All right, there he goes, and I believe... Leave. Yep, there she is. All right, let's see here. Safe environment, unsafe environment. How's that? Is that good? You like that air? That's some good air. All right, first target down. Now to sneak my way back out of here and deal with good old Silvio. Where is he? There he is, Silvio Caruso, playing golf. Oh, though I think I might go with the mission story, The Good Son. Hey, hold on a minute. What the hell? Somebody took my Krugemeyer too, too dark. This is terrible. Oh, no, they didn't. It was in another bush. My bad. So now, uh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, let's go get that bucket of flowers. So I guess I'm going to need to smash this guy in the head and get his clothes but it's a little bit hard when mr social media over here is just filming this guy <laughs> for some reason i don't know why it seems like an invasion of privacy yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. oh what the hell man notice by who oh you you f***ing idiot all right, little bit of choky choky. There we go. Too busy with the social medias as usual. There, now that that's done, it's time to deliver the bucket of flowers. No, oh, they match my pens. How cute. You can leave them on Mrs. Caruso's grave in the garden. Oh yes, I'll, I'll I'll do that, and I'll leave I'll leave Mr. Caruso on the grave too. No, I won't. I'll be tossing him into a wood chipper. All right, here we are, down at the old gravy grave, and there's the old wood chippy chipper. Everything's gonna be great. Let me just plop the flowers on the grave, just like this. Dead um, and I've got another bunch of them. I guess I'll pop these on the wood chipper. Oh, would you look at that? Here he comes now. I'm just going to hide here in this bush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I really just want an opportunity to use my gun in the um in the in the VRs. So you know I might just crack it out and do the old choppy choppy bang bang, and then let's drag him over here. Oh look at that! He blood bled on the grave. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was fresh. Anyway, it looks like my work here is done. Excuse me, guys. I've got a little car to drive away. VR, here I come. Silent Assassin. Let's freaking go, mate. And, well, here we are. Sapienza, Italy. Hey, babe, what's going on? How you doing? You want to sit down here next to me? I, I can read. <laughs> a sexy man in red suit has moved in from foreign country. Guaranteed to bring fireworks to Sapienza, Italy. What can I say? So yes, here we are at Villa Caruso. We're doing this like a professional assassin, which means no silly business. All right, maybe just this silly business. Come back here, you flying rats. Oh, wait, hold on. I remember in the last video, we came up to this lady and, and we started it with like... 
All right, let's start again. So we started by running over here and saying that we were going to go into our apartment, but not without ringing the doorbell first, just to make sure that I'm not home. Ah, yes, I am a crackhead, apparently. This is where I sleep. Okay, my crack den, welcome. Now, over here, I believe we have the... <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> anyway, let me just put this inside myself. All right, there we go. And um, over here we have the explosive golf ball. Excuse the meth that I was cooking up for breakfast this morning. And you know what? I think I might just grab this old knife. <laughs> So, after that, I headed into my bathroom and I was like, I'm a vampire. That's fine, everything's fine. Let me just overflow my sink. All right, that's enough. All right, here we are. The beautiful cathedral. Look at this place. It certainly does look different in virtual reality. All of these people praying except this heathen right here. Playing Raid Shadow Legends. The mobile game taking the world by storm. There's Confession Lady telling the old priest that the guy's dead and she feels guilty about it. Can I, can I listen? Hi. It would be really great if you just left right now. Oh, okay, sorry. Now, obviously, a couple of things that I did previously I don't actually need to do. Like, you know, getting the priest outfit's probably not necessary seeing as I stole the key. But, you know, I'm going to follow everything I did and try and recreate it to the best of my ability. Which means coming down here and getting the old clothes. Oh, there they are. Here we go. On the floor. Let's get the old clothes. Pop them on. How do I do that? All right, there we go. Look at that bling, bro. I'm freaking balling, mate. Now, with this new fun of the sky. I can go into the morgue. No, hold on. She she walking away again. Where's she going? No, you. you. Oh, this guy. He knows. He knows I'm not who I said I am. Oh, this is dangerous. Hold on. I'm going to have to be stealthy. Oh, okay. Hold on. This is the perfect opportunity. Let me get my ginormous hey, bun. what's your game? Piss off. How do I even do this? I don't know how to place it on the floor, you twit. How? Uh, how do I put the banana on the floor? Oh, this is stupid. Give me my banana. How do I do banana? You don't want to do that. I'm not doing anything, bro. Just let me in here. What What am I doing? What am I even doing? You know, I don't know. I don't care either. I just want to splat my banana. How? Let me splat my banana. Damn it. I don't know how to do this. Oh, f***. Now. All right, so as far as I can tell, um, there's no way to <laughs> splat a banana on the floor. But that's all right. We'll just use it um, in a different way. But then she still gets up again, so... That order, do it. Give me that key card. And as for you, my handsome friend, you look more than fine. Disguise lab technician. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yes, I lay down here. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I lay down here for a while, too. And then I got out. Yep. And I casually took a stroll by the beautiful wharf as I prepared to enter the Aether secret dungeon laboratory. Ah, but before I forget, I better place this down here and, you know, leave it so I can collect it later. Oh, the frisking guy's not even here. Then I guess I didn't need to leave you here after all, cheeky Krugermeyer Tutu Dark. Solo personale autorizzato. That means that if you're gonna do it solo, you better do it in a personal place. With Auto Rizzuto. Alright, it looks like we made it. Time to swipe in one more time. Bleep bleep. And, oh yes, hazmat suits. Excuse me while I just borrow one. Uh, seems to be stuck in the middle of my face. That's a little bit annoying, but nothing I can't deal with. Bring on the G shower. Oh, it's rather mild in VR. It was splashing all over the, <laughs> all over the place in Pancake Hit, man. All right, so what did I do? I, I did something over here, didn't I? I sabotaged the computer, and then I walked over here like an absolute dumbass, and... Oh, yeah, yeah, I mixed two... two Volatile. Oh, yeah, that's what I did. I didn't even see that, but that's what I did. Then I hid over here while that guy went to repair it. And this is where, this is where I overheated this stuff. Look at that. Just cooking it up real good. All right, 55, 58. And then there we go. Crapped itself at 58. Sweet. So now that that's done, let's change back into the lab technician disguise. My hands shrunk about 50 sizes, but it's fine. You know what they say about people with small hands? Ginormous testicles. Then we very stealthily sneak through the sludge over here, avoiding the people that would detect us and make our way over here. And oh, there he is. There's old mate. All right, that's Francesca making her way down here. Blend in as lab technician. Yep. All right, I'm blending. This is... This is how I blend. All right, so there she is going into the virus laboratory center place. This guy waiting for old bone face poop head to piss off. Now to change safe environment to even safer environment. Did it work? Is it? 
Yep. All right. Sweet. Yeah. She pr- looks pretty dead. All right, boys. Now that that's done, let's flee the scene of the crime and make out. Is that guy? What the? <laughs> oh, my best mate. Look at him. Passion on with his girlfriend. Mate, she's up there. Look, bro. I don't. I want to depress you, but I think she might be a little bit out of your league. A little bit above you. You know what I'm saying? So now as we move on to the next story mission, it seems like Mr. Social Media is departing the scene and uh, the guy we're looking for is over there all by himself. And I happen to have a ginormous wrench in my hand. Hey mate, how you going? Is anyone looking this way? (coughs) Oh shoot. All right, fine. (coughs) Yeah, that works too. I am but a humble flower delivery man delivering a bucket for Silvio Caruso. Look at this. Beautiful. Ah, oh, yes, smells like sh- Hey, mate, we got this delightful bucket. You want to smell it? Sm- oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Smell the bucket. Mmm, yes. And here we are at the place where the magic happens. Let me place these flowers over there. All right, well, before he gets here, let's prep the old chipper. Yeah, it's got, got petrol in it. It's nice and good. Yellow, yep. Oh, hey, Silvio, how you going? Now I will take my Krugermeyer Tutu Dark. And I'll wait for you, Silvio Caruso. Get down on the ground now. And I'll shoot you in the ass. Now let me get my laser pointer. Look at that. Perfectly recreated in virtual reality. Very, very tactically testicle. Come on, dickhead. Fortunately, that guy's got no head, so he can't see what's going on. All right, Silvio. Um, Hold on. Let me just shred. All right, done. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past that I'm homebound. Slap you on the ass. And yet somehow, even though I did exactly the same thing, I got two stars.